Green Bay East and Green Bay West have played each other in football every year since 1905, with the exceptions of 1906, when football in its early stages was declared too dangerous. And then in 2020, when the pandemic kept them apart. Last week, both schools had to cancel their games due to a lack of players, but they rallied back to get ready to play tonight, keeping one of the state's longest running rivalries in motion. We take you out there. It's the 116th all-time meeting between the Red Devils and the Wildcats. Our Friday Night Blitz game of the week. Early in the first, Alex Aoki finds a crease and 76 yards later, he is in for six. Two-point conversion makes it eight nothing Red Devils. Score stays that way until the second half when Jack Henry finds Nasir Williams down the sideline. That ties things up at eight. Fourth quarter, check out the strip and the score from Ronald Schockmeyer. Touchdown there would leave West trailing by one. They kick the extra point to make it 15-14. Here they are driving late, but a strip, a fumble, and an East recovery, and that's what seals the win for the Red Devils. 15-14, the final score. Here's Chancellor Johnson. The 115th matchup between Green Bay East and Green Bay West actually turned out to be a pretty good one. And it was easy to sense how much this game meant to both teams, especially considering they weren't even for sure it would happen. But it was the Red Devils who took home this game for yet another year in a row. We were doing everything, both schools, I know. It was important to this town, to this community to play this game. I know to both schools, too. I mean, these kids have been through so much in the last year. I think, I think we had 18 in uniform, something like that tonight. And I shared with them, through a pandemic, they've made that commitment. The 115th game, and uh, man, this lived up to all the hype, I'll tell you that much. With this win, the Green Bay East senior class never lost to their arch rivals. And on top of that, they picked up their first win of the season. In Green Bay, Chancellor Johnson, NBC 26 Sports. Only 18 in uniform. That is something. Well, this might be the game of the year. Nina and Bayport, we pick it up late. 40 seconds left in regulation. Pirates down six, and this will get you there. Jaden Montgomery, five-yard touchdown run to tie the game. Extra point, no good. So we go to overtime, and Bayport there gets the ball first. It's college rules here. The Pirates score on their first possession. Montgomery again, they take the lead 20 to 13. Rockets get their chance. Second play of their possession, Luke Elkin to Chase Hanselman down to the one yard line. Two plays later, Elkin punches it in. So the Rockets are down one, but instead of kicking the extra point and going for a second overtime, they go for the win. And on the two point, Elkin to Hanselman. Same connection and he's in. An unbelievable finish and celebration here down in the knob. Party on, Rockets. They win it 21 to 20. Pulaski and Appleton North. Good matchup here, but it was the Lightning striking quickly. They go to the big man. Cal Martini finds the edge, sheds a tackle, and he is gone. 41-yard touch. Lightning up 7-0. Next North possession, Matthew Sheckelman. Off play action here, goes deep to Isaiah Gonzalez. Watch closely, ball pops out at the end. Another look for you here in slow-mo. This was ruled a completed catch, but no points came from that. So, all in all, didn't really matter. Controversial ruling, nothing comes of it. Appleton North's defense, though, dominant all night. Nash Lemmon losing the ball. Wilson Zuck runs it back for the score. Red Raiders threatening just before the half, but that one is picked off in the end zone. Braden Gormayak. North wins this one, 35-13. Kimberly and Appleton East, nine minutes left in the second quarter. Makers with a 3-0 lead. They've got the ball, second and goal from the four, and more often than not, Caleb is gonna get the job done here. 10-0, Kimberly with the lead. Late in the first half, Makers with it again. They go to Frazier again. Nice gain around the edge, 20 yards. That leads to a Kimberly field goal. They win this one 31 to six. Under the lights at Ashwabadon. Jaguars hosting Oshkosh North. Connor Ramage with some manly runs as this game went on. Watch him here, just bouncing off dudes and into the end zone. Puts Ashwabadon up 31 to 15, and that means that guy's gotta do 31 push-ups. Just two plays later though, Spartans with a quick strike. Peyton Lynch to Drake Moxon. I don't want your life. 83-yard touchdown catch and run for Moxon. Cuts into the lead 
Ashwabadon, though, hangs on to win it 40 to 29. Stick with us. We'll have your play of the night coming up next on Friday Night Blitz. Our Friday Night Blitz play of the night. We go back down to Nina for what might have been the game of the year. This is an overtime two-point conversion. Nina going for the win, and they get it. Luke Elkin to Chance Hanselman. And as always, the reaction even better than the play. The Rockets upset Bayport 21-20 the final. My wife went to Nina. She's got to be pumped. 